we're in an end of the world scenario, Haley and I could totally fend for ourselves. <laughs> There's the, the traditional like, guy walks into a saloon, and this movie is literally like, girl walks yeah. into the saloon. We're just not used to seeing women lead action on screen and, and to do it in a like believable way. I mean, it was intense just like the three of us being locked in that keeping room together. Yeah. Like the, the emotions and the energy in that space. And you realize you've never been on set with just women before. My character in the keeping room, I think, really plays up the I'm the youngest, I'm the baby, do it for me card. Whereas my character in True Grit didn't as much because she didn't have people around her. But I think that sort of story in general of, of setting a goal for yourself and stopping at nothing until you achieve it is, is really, we carry that, I think, a lot in this movie. For all these, like, Sounds we had to practice like the what and the yes, where because yes, yes, yes. we were trying to really do a believable like 1865 version of a North Carolina South Carolina accent, which is really different sounding from what you'd think. Right. Like, and so we spent all this time sitting with a coach, like trying to get a similar quality to our voices, so it would seem like we were sisters. It was just amazing to work with Haley because she's so open and so generous as a performer and so mature that like. I mean, it's hard. It's hard not to fall in love with her.